Hello all, this is me Narendra, Microsoft Certified Professional with more than 9 years of experience in IT industry. I welcome you all to my channel Brother N. If you are here after watching my last video on AZ900, great round of applause to you. You already know that you are in the right place. And if you are a new viewer, a warm welcome to you and happy learning. Today I am going to share the latest AZ900. Microsoft security compliance identity certification questions and answers here. I'm sure if you go through this video seriously, you're going to clear your certification for 100%. Most of these questions that I'm sharing here will come in your exam, but I would recommend you to go through the Microsoft study material, understand the concept and come to this video so you can clear your certification and gain knowledge and the Microsoft badge. Oh yeah, that badge that you're looking for. Well, having said that, I will share the link below uh, in the description box for the SC900 uh, material. And I wish you all the very best for your SC100, uh, SC900 certification. Okay, so let's get started. So there is no prerequisite to attend this certification, but it is good to have basic IT knowledge. These are the topics that will be covered in the certification. So describe the concept of security compliance and, and identity will have 10 to 15% of weight in the uh, certification. Describe the capabilities of Microsoft identity and access management solutions will have 25 to 30% of weight in the uh, exam. Describe the capabilities of Microsoft security solutions will have 25 to 30% of weight in the exam. Describe the capabilities of Microsoft compliance solution will have 25 to 30 percent of the weight in the exam and uh, before you know uh, I start I just want you all to know that you can always pause the video and read the questions as per your convenience if I'm too fast or too slow okay so let's jump into the questions directly so the hot area the question is there if you want to read and I'm going to jump directly to the answers all Azure Active Directory Azure AD license editions includes the same features. So no, every Azure ID licenses will have a different different features. You can manage an Azure Active Directory Azure AD tenant by using the Azure portal. Yes, this is correct. You must deploy Azure virtual machines to host an Azure Active Directory Azure AD tenant. So this is wrong. So it will be no. So here this is the other another pattern of the questions which you will see in the exam. So the question is like provide best practice from Microsoft employee partners and customers including tools and guidance to assist in an Azure deployment. So there is a drop down which we need to select from. So the right answer would be the Microsoft cloud adaption framework for Azure provides the best practice for Microsoft employees partners and customers including tools and guidance to assist in an Azure deployment and before we jump into next question I just want you all to quickly subscribe to my channel it motivates me to create more videos and share my knowledge with you all thank you once again so let's go to the next question so here the answer area I'll again go directly to the answer area so is used to identify hold and export electronic information that might be used in an investigation so from the drop down we need to select customer lockbox this is the correct answer customer lockbox is used to identify hold and export electronic information that might be used in an investigation Again here, it's the same pattern question. So I'll directly go to the answer. You can manage Microsoft Intune by using Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. So there will be a multiple choice of questions. You need to select the correct one. Again here, it's the same. Select the answer that correctly completes the sentence. So the question is Federation use is used to establish between organizations so from the drop down we'll select a trust relationship which is the correct answer a federation is used to establish a trust relationship between organization which score measures an organization's progress in completing completing actions that help reduce risk associated to the data protection and regulatory standard so here are multiple questions so the answer correct one would be compliance score d which Microsoft portal provides information about how Microsoft cloud services 
uh, comply with regulatory standard uh, such as international organization for standardization iso so the answer would be microsoft service trust portal c so again here select the answer that correctly completes the sentence so we need to select from the drop down here a file makes the data in the file readable and usable to viewers that have the appropriate key so the answer would be encrypting encrypting a file makes the data in the file readable and usable to viewers that have the appropriate key next question what can you use to provide a user with a two hours window to complete an administrative task in azure so the answer would be conditional access policies so conditional access policies you know provides a user with a two hours window to complete an administrative task in azure so the answer would be d in a hybrid identity model what can you use to sync identities between active directory domain services adds and azure active directory azure ad so the options here are active directory federation services adfs azure sentinel azure ad connect azure ad privileged identity management pim so the correct answer would be azure ad connect in a hybrid identity model what can you use to sync identities between active directory domain services adds and azure active directory azure ad so the multiple answers are here answer a says active directory federation services adfs b says azure sentinel c says azure ad connect d says azure ad privileged identity management pim so the answer would be again a c azure ad connect what is the purpose of azure active directory azure ad password protection so the options here are to control how often users must change their password a b is to be identify uh, to identify devices to which user can sign in without using multi factor authentication mfa c to encrypt a password by using globally recognized encryption standards d to prevent users from using specific words in their password so the correct answer is d obviously to prevent users from using specific words in the password so another question which azure active directory azure ad feature can you use to evaluate group membership and automatically remove users that no longer requires membership in a group so the multiple question answers are your access review a b managed identities c conditional access policies d azure ad identity protection so the answer would be a access review okay we are done here with the part 1 question and answer for sc 900 I will post my next video soon with a full set of SC 900 question and answers. Thank you for watching. Please hit that like button if this video was helpful for you. Share it with your friends who are looking for SC 900 dumps. Keep learning, keep growing, and keep supporting. Signing off, Narendra. Peace.